Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing this pretty makeup look. I really wanted to do something focused on the eyes, but then easy to wear for any type of outfit. So you could totally rock it for New Year's. I'm gonna probably rock it for New Year's. I like it, it's pretty. Um, if you wanna see what I did to get this look, keep on watching. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Lily. I do makeup, I do all kinds of things. So I don't really know what to call it. At the end of the video, I will have a little giveaway, so keep an eye out for that. If you don't follow me on Instagram, Twitter, I'm always on there. Um, yeah, let's hope for 2020 for it to be a crazy good year for everybody. Yeah, without further ado, let's get into the makeup tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video. Maybe next year, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. My life's kind of like up in the air all the time. So I talk with my hands a lot. So sorry. Don't know what it is. Stop it. So this is what my face looks like with no makeup on. I'm going to do a full face. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. I always do my eyebrows first. And I'm just going to brush them. And I'm going to go with the Brow Wiz. This is in the color Soft Brown. I'm just going to fill in. I really have a short eyebrow. like So I always make my tail a little longer. How have you guys been? Ah, it feels like a long time since I've been on here. I'm not even going to get into that because you guys already saw my vlog where I talk about why I've been gone. Pero... I'm super excited for the new year. I'm going to get eyelash extensions for the very first time like in a couple weeks. I'm also going to be working on Betta Bay lashes a little bit harder harder because as you know I do everything myself so when something happens to me or I can't do something like everything just stalls you know work on the skin because it's a little like me what I'm doing is carving them out with a little bit of concealer and then there's this super annoying pimple like right here but we're just gonna cover it with concealer as well so it just disappears I'm thinking of doing like a smoky, like exotic looking eye and then just like nude lips. Um, that's what I have in mind, so we'll see what I end up with. Cause I'm just going to use whatever is left and put it all over my lid. What are some of you guys' new year goals? New year, I don't want to call them resolutions, but new year plans. Um, any major goals, any, any new ideas, any new toxic people you're leaving behind? I don't know. I for sure know that I am. The word for the new year for me is going to be consistency. Consistency is going to be what I want to focus on. So yeah, that's my word for the new year. My goals are still the same. My goals are still active and present in my mind. It's just consistency is what's stopping me. So um, yeah. I really like this brush to do that. It's a Morphe two, M214. I think it's coming kind of rubbing off. But I've always loved to use it just to like spread out the concealer. So the next thing, I already moisturized my face with this Glow Recipe Banana Moisturizer. It smells delicious. I want to eat it, but don't eat it because it's not Gerber. So it's really good. It's really like moisturizing, but not like cakey or very sticky. It's perfect. After I moisturize, I want to go ahead and work on my eyes while my uh, moisturizer sets in my skin. I'm going to be using the ABH Norvina Collection little mini palette. I kind of broke it a little, so it's a little like funky, but I really wanted to use this little brown color. I think it's going to be so pretty with my face. <laughs> um, I'm going to grab this Morphe brush. I'm just going to do this. Hold on, let me do it for the gram. And that's how you do a little clip for the gram because you got to like show it, you know. I want to start at the corner and then just kind of swipe it over here. It's going to be a little kind of smoky. So my mirror is like really far away. So I'm just like, I hope it's looking okay. Because <laughs> I'm usually like this. I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye and then I'll come, I'll come back with the black. Because if not, this video is going to be like 500 hours long. And I'm super excited to show you the KKW lip combo that I'm going to try. Actually, it's going to be two different lip combos. Alright, so what we're trying to do to this eye is something a little bit smoky like this. I totally forgot that I wanted to put my contacts on before, so let me do that first. So I get these from Lux Lenses on Instagram. They are so nice. They are so fast. Um, they're like $40, so you get two for $44 or so. But if you use my code LilyBet, you get like $5 off or something. Try it, you'll love them. They're my favorite contact. Um, they're by the brand Cloike or Cloike. I always talk about them. I've been talking about them for years. This is Aqua Lux. Lux meaning they have like a little ring, so they look a little bit maybe more natural. Um, let me show you what it looks like on my actual eyeball. The reason why I really like these is because on dark eyes, they look really pretty and like natural in a way. So yeah, that's what Aqua Lux looks like. It's like a greenish, bluish, grayish. <laughs> yeah, let me put on the other one so you can see what I mean. 
Alright, for this, I'm just going to smoke out my eyes as much as I can without making it look too harsh. I'm going to bring in this dark brown just all over. This dark brown, actually, let me give you the name. It's this one is called Rich Brown by Anastasia. So it's just a single shadow. Wow, I'm itchy. And I'm just going to bring that mainly down here on the lid and then kind of like blend it out with a little bit of more of that. The C1 color from this one just gonna work it back and forth both of them until I get a gradient that I like or that looks okay and then I'm gonna do a little bit on the bottom the same color so it's basically just two colors because we're gonna go in with black eyeliner and just kind of define our eyes and make them look a little bit more cat eye cat eyes are my favorite I feel like they're so like sneaky but pretty but like exotic in a way I'm gonna go in with this really cute little brush it's an M508 by Morphe it's so cute and little it's perfect for the, for the bottom lash line. I find that the bottom lash line, I used to go too far down where I would have a crease and then it would get in my crease and it would just make it smear and look way too messy. So now I just keep it really close to my lash line and never hit that first crease and like it's perfect. It looks put together, it doesn't run down. So I'm going to keep working on those two colors, intensify them a little more and I'll come back when I start doing the black. Alright, so I worked on the eyes a little more and now I'm just going to put some black eyeliner on the waterline top waterline and smear it down just a little bit not crazy so i'm just gonna do that i like to just like take it easy and not be afraid of it all right so i just cleaned out any fallout that was on my cheeks and my nose so i'm going to work on my foundation i'm gonna add a little bit of primer just so my face can last a little longer even though i'm gonna take it off mm. but technically if i was gonna wear this out longer i definitely would wear a primer so i'm gonna do that as well this is the Too Faced Hangover RX. FX? RX. I'm gonna drop like three little drops on my fingers. Just kind of go where I feel like my foundation runs a little. I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite foundations. Foundations I've been loving right now are these two. Born to Glow by NYX. I heard that they're coming out with a concealer. So I can't wait to try that one. And then the Anastasia has been my favorite for a while now. But this is a 240N. And then this is Buff 10 my colors so i'm gonna go with this one it gives me a really nice little glow it covers it, it can be full coverage if you do a couple of um loads but for the most part i just do one it does its job very well how scary do i look <laughs> i'm just gonna pat it all in my face i feel like it's important to wash your face like a deep cleanse because we're pushing in product all the time like this so your pores are like gonna bound to like break out all the time because you're clogged up with all this foundation you know so i fixed my hair a little bit but i wish you could see this foundation in action in person because it's actually really pretty it covered all my freckles all my imperfections all my little bumps and scars and now that it's still wet i'm able to go in there and contour a little bit just grab your favorite contour stick or cream um anything liquidy still because there's no powder just yet so just grab your favorite contour stick whatever it is this is discontinued so I don't really want to talk about it because you can't really get it anymore and I'm sad. I'm just trying to use it up because I can't buy it anymore. I think that's it for, for this. I'm just going to buff it out and then I'm going to go in with all of my powders. Um, as far as contour, you got to find something that um, blends pretty fast and pretty easy. This one has a yellow orangey tone to it so also look at tones. It could be like a gray tone that fits you best. Grab this really cool angled brush by Morphe. It's the E62. I like how it's dense, but yet it's angular. So I can just go in here and do this. You know, I've never really thought about my nose and how it's shaped. I've always just like let it be. I like my nose. I don't hate it. Yet. I mean, it's a little big here in the bottom, but nothing that I'm just like self-conscious about. I've always not even paid attention to my nose like that. So yeah, I get asked sometimes like, do you have plastic surgery? Would you get plastic surgery? And I haven't ever thought about it like that. If anything, maybe like when I get older, like my little expression lines are getting like more noticeable. Maybe, but nothing like major crazy, you know? Now that I have liquid still, I'm gonna go ahead and add powders. I'm gonna go in with Vanilla Loose Setting Powder by Anastasia. I like to put it on to like carve my face a little bit better too. I'm gonna get a wet beauty blender and just cut that a little bit so it's a little bit more precise and then before i set the bottom here of my eyes i'm gonna pat it out just in case any foundation wanted to get into a crease and then i'm gonna pat it in there with my nose i want to accentuate that line this is for the gram if you can't tell <laughs> i need some music lately i don't know why but i've been having crazy dreams like with people from my oh the mailman's here 
I've been having crazy dreams with like random people from my past with their future like lives. It's weird. Like why do you haunt me still? It's really annoying. And I'm just gonna fix my bottom lash line that got a little janky um and then i'll come back and i'll show you how i'm going to put on my lashes set my face highlight finish it off all right so now for lashes i'm going to be wearing i am brave by betta bay lashes i love these these are the longest and the thickest that i have right now they go well with really dramatic eyes or like just themselves with no like eyeliner or mascara i don't have mascara on i'm just gonna stick on this eyelash they're a little curved so be careful not putting glue on your lashes but try and get the middle down first once you feel the middle stick it's a little cold so you'll feel the glue and now work on the corner it's so dramatic so exciting okay like once you wear lashes big giant lashes you can't not wear big giant lashes you know i can wear really thin like really tiny lashes like i can wear all kinds of lashes but something about a big giant lash that I love all right so my eyes are pretty much done I did a little bit of mascara on the bottom lash line I'm going to set my face and highlight a little bit and blad blush and then we're gonna do our lips last I do my lips last because I'll eat it in the same time that I talk my favorite all-time setting spray is urban decay all-nighter this is the summer solstice ones I still have it I have like so many of them so I love them I have mini ones Urban Decay is the best. I love them. I'm trying to look up for a highlighter. I think I'm going to go with the Jaclyn Hill um, So Extra. They sent me over this and I was just like, what, really? They only sent out one, which is totally fine, with their little brush. But I don't really love the brush, but I'm just going to grab a little bit of um, powder foundation by Sephora. I'm in the color 24 Warm Beige. Um, I'm going to grab a little bit and just kind of like dab it on my cheek here where I lost a little bit of color. I can't really see from this eye, so if it looks funky, let me know. I'm gonna spray myself, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter. Ooh, wait, I have such a big face, and I forgot, like, over here. Ooh, I love it. Okay, while it's still wet, I'm gonna grab a little bit of the highlighter. A little bit, because, oh my god, it's pigmented as heck. I want to go in, like, right here. I'm gonna dab it a little bit first, and then dab it a little bit over here. Make a little circle. And then, of course, the brow bone. The brow bone cannot go untouched. It adds that little extra sparkle as well. That's pretty much it for the face. I believe that's it. I feel like I'm missing something. Let me think about it. Let's just do our lips. Um, oh my god. We are missing blush. We're going to go with the KKW X Mario Press Blush Powder. This is called Very Graceful. So we're just going to pop it on our... So this is what it looks like super cute i'm gonna dust it on with my favorite blush brush mixing it up with that highlighter and a little bit of the bronzer oh it's looking really pretty i like it all right so as a finishing touch i do want to go in here and connect my eyes a little bit of um liquid liner this is the anastasia liquid liner it's a really good eyeliner it's very matte and very pigmented if you're not too skilled with it just yet you want, might want to practice before doing your whole eye because you might just have to go in there and erase it and it's gonna be such a pain sorry i get distracted super easy why does my window sound like it's open just like that i hope you can see that it definitely does a big difference it connects your eye makes it look a little bit longer you could totally do the wing this way but i'm gonna keep it that way all right for the eyes that's pretty much it that's what the eyes are gonna look like now let's work on our lips i'm so excited for the lips because it's what brings it all together okay everything brings it together the lashes the contacts the lips bring it all together can you tell i'm excited okay. the first lip combo i'm gonna do is the kkw that i wore on my last picture on instagram that everybody really liked um the kkw x mario lip pencil it's the lip pencil called beauty icon i'm just gonna outline real quick and show you what that looks like it's like a warm brown but at the same time you could totally wear it as a lip a whole lip color what's really gonna make this lip color look pretty is when you blend it in with the lipstick because the lipstick is really you really want to blend it in because it's a very nude nude i mean it's gonna look different on everybody that's what it looks like on my hand here my hand is definitely a different color than my face because i go from i match my foundation to my neck i never match it to my hand and i really want to do like a drugstore what to get how to get a foundation at the drugstore because a lot of people match their skin or like their arm to the foundation but i like to match my neck because that's what people are going to look at immediately now we're going to go in with the lipstick we're going to go in on here move it around and then grab this really cool little brush and mix in the lip liner and blend it in together but yeah that's basically it for this lip color it's not my favorite nude of all time but it's definitely a pretty nude color um 
that's it for this look I'm gonna change the lip because I want to show I'm gonna show you another lip option this one is life glam oh Martha by less do makeup I think it's such a pretty color it looks really pretty on lip colors like mine so let me show you what it looks like it's gonna be more of a gloss so it's definitely not gonna be matte okay oh Martha life glam lip gloss super pretty we're just gonna pop it on with no concealer or anything it's gonna look a little different maybe for you because you might have a different undertone but I really like how it looks and how it feels. I actually have like three other ones. So if you just comment on this video, like this video, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be answered and I'll just pick two people to send them this lip color. Oh, Martha. Super pretty. Super easy to do. Just I'll pick them in a week or so. I wish I could wear jewelry, but I can't because I get an allergic reaction and it's just like not cute. So maybe when I buy real jewelry, <laughs> I will put it on, but mm, no jewelry for me. This is the final look. And warning, if you try this whole look, it's going to be a lot because we're wearing a full face. We're wearing really thick lashes. We're wearing content. Yeah, it's a whole look, but it's a vibe and I love it. And I know there's a lot of you out there that love a full face as well. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I really like a really intense eye with some beautiful colored lips I used to just always like just play the favorite songs of the moment so this is what I'm gonna do again um I missed it it's fine let's do it uh, my eyes feel heavy I'm sleepy <laughs> My eyes are... My eyes. pretty without the contact. <gasps> I just ruined my mic. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I sound like... Get together, nose. Ah. Alright. Alright. Let's do it. <laughs> 